If they fire you, you better drag me down with you. No, you're not doing that. I am. I've been looking for an excuse to call Frank a dick swab for years. I'm the dick swab. I should have requested more security. You had two armed officers. You did the right thing. <sighs> you're brilliant. Just don't tell them everything. You'll sound like a nutter. Right. The boy's parents are here. Apparently they thought he was playing bridge. <laughs> Have you made your statement? Mm. Well, that one could have gone better. I don't want to say you only had one job. Oh, but... piss off, Frank. I don't think you should speak to me like that right now, Eve. Can you, can you just tell me what I need to do? From what I've managed to gather, you have conducted an illegal investigation. You've manipulated a witness. You've put a minor in danger. Oh, and on top, please. No, don't interrupt me, Bill. On top of that, you failed at your actual job. No doubt because you were so busy executing your pretend job, which I believe was going to earn you 20 quid. And what you both seem to think is the most important thing about this case. No, the case. most important thing is that I was right about no, the fact No, no, the most important thing, Eve, is that four people are dead and it's all your fault. What were you right about? Kasha described the killer as Aladeja, which means flat chested. No one How do you know to... that? Because I secretly recorded the interview and brought it home and asked Dom and my husband to translate it for me. You're fired. You're a dick swab. Oh, I... oh, sorry. Thank you, Bill. No, I was going to call you a dick swab. There's going to be some reshuffling in your department. I suggest you both leave immediately. Your things will be biked to you. Just to be clear, Frank. You're fired. Excellent, thank you. Shop. What? Milk or uh married? Yes. You? A few times, yes. Uh, it's really nice of you to come and whatever this is. Um do you do you want milk? We think she's been operating for two years across ten countries. She's highly skilled, as yet untraceable, and frankly, she's starting to show off. When you're feeling perkier, I'd like to buy you breakfast at the Purple Penguin restaurant by Charing Cross. Thursday. 9 a.m. I'll wait for ten minutes. Right. Buy some milk. Well, he'll think you're having an affair. Oh, I don't think he'd ever think that. They will think we're having affairs before they think we're secret agents. Oh, no, I think Nico would assume I was an agent before ever thinking that I was having an affair. You might want to make him think you're having an affair, then. Hope to see you Thursday. <laughs> 